Hey, how's it going? I'm going to make what I want to make here is I've taken up the art of crocheting and I want to make a cushion or a cushion grip for my crochet hook. Now this is 2.0. <laughs> this summer I was in Pennsylvania and my friend showed me how to French knit. So she gave me, she had an extra one, so she gave me this. And then she let me choose. She had two balls of cotton thread and she said pick one and of course I chose the most colorful one <laughs> to me. Colorful to me. And she, then she started it for me and I already know how to start it. I had to go to YouTube to learn how to start it. I should have said, no, no, show me, you know, step by step how to start it. But it's not really that big of a deal. It's uh, it's easy to start. And sh then she gave me this, which is a 2.25. Just want to make sure it's 2.25 hook. And... I was crocheting with it, but uh, what I noticed is it kind of, because I hold it like that when I'm crocheting, this part right here was pressing on my middle finger there, and it was kind of annoying after a while because I get so into it, you know, I must be gripping it for dear life. And so when I got home, oh, by the way, this is how much I've done so far. I did start it in sometime in July, and I've managed to make this much, <laughs> this much of it. I'm not going to unravel it to, to measure it, but, uh, so I do it from time to time, and I thought, I wonder if I can make a grip for my crochet hook. Now, I did go into Amazon, and I bought... A set of crochet hooks that have the this rubber or silicone handle and it is very very comfortable this is uh, 2.25 really sorry about that 2.25 millimeter and this is very good very comfortable and I thought I wonder if I also bought a set of hooks that don't have that cushion grip but I thought I wonder if I can make my own cushion grip and I'm thinking the first thing I thought of well, oh yeah this is uh, I'll get back to it I promise <laughs> this is what my friend made with the the chain uh, this type she calls it string I guess it is because it's it's thread that's braided together basically and she made this, and then she gave it to me. I'm like, all right. What is that? A coaster for me. <laughs> I don't think it's a hat. or, But it's really kind of cool, and uh, she crochets a lot. And I, I used to crochet uh, as kind of a hobby, but... Excuse me. I used to crochet, but uh, I guess I didn't really get into it completely. So what I did was... The first, this is what I what I did. This is a cushion grip, and this is a much smaller one. I think this is 1.90. I can I can show you because I can move it. 1.90, and oh no, I'm sorry, 1.50. Wow, really small. I don't think that was 1.9. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, this is perfect, you know, fits right over, and I can adjust it, I can move it back and forth, wherever I want to, you know, where it's going to be the best grip for me, and the first, when I first thought of it, I thought, okay, how can I do that, can I, I can maybe take maybe a paper towel or a piece of paper and roll it up a lot, and then just cover it with maybe fabric tape or something, and then the idea hit me. I have these foam wedges. <laughs> See where I'm going with that? And I thought, hey, I bet I could put 
this into here this way and then also I have this self-fusing tape this is the duck brand uh, self-fusing tape I'm gonna did buy another roll over over vacation I bought a uh, two pack I gave uh, one roll to my friend and I kept the other one I cannot find that <laughs> I found this one in my toolbox so uh, I took some of this and I wrapped it tightly around and voila a cushion grip for my crochet hook now if I would not have bought these I still would have had the idea because I was still having problems when I was crocheting that it was hitting this part right here. It was just making, putting a dent in there and just making it very uncomfortable. And if I keep going and crocheting, making uh, French knitting the string, then it is eventually going to hurt my finger. And I'm going to show you how I did this. Now, when I first did it, I was messing around with these foam wedges anyway because I have another hack that is related to a video I did a thing video uh, using making mini stencils or stencils with mini punches and I I mentioned in the video hey I want to do like like a point I want this to come to a point and I thought hmm so <laughs> while I was editing I came up with a kind of an idea but I'm still kind of ironing out the wrinkles so with this one I like I said I did cut this right here but I'm gonna try this without cutting it cutting this down and then what I'm planning to do is wrap this around it and then put this on but you know it might be uh, it might be too thick. So if it is too thick, then I'll I'll take, uh, I have a couple more here. I'll take this one and I'll cut it down to about like there. Okay. So what you do is you just very easily just go like this. It's not sharp. And you just put it through. Something like that. And then, and when I did this at first, I thought, well, I could do it like that. Like that was well, kind of weird to hold it like that. And I thought, no, I can't do it like that. And, and the one I worked with had already been cut off or cut down to this size. So with this one, I'm going to see if I can... With the foam wedge, you can stretch it. Oh, yeah. Right, like that. So, and it go, comes back to its shape. Then you take your self fusing tape. I think this is Duck Brand. I don't know if I said that. Did I say that? It's dusty. How is it dusty? It's been sitting in my. <laughs> it's been sitting in my toolbox with the lid closed. I'm just going to do. I don't really need it. Probably this is probably too much. So I'm gonna do. Uh, I don't know what this measures. This is my centimeter. One, two, three, four, five. About six centimeters <laughs> in length. The centimeter size side of the mat. This would be too small. And what this does is, it fuses to itself, just like this. So this will not. This will not come up. See, like that. It's stuck there, and this is just the foam wedge that's sticking. I thought about trimming that down. <laughs> if it bugs me, I'm like, oh, trim it down. Uh, like a crooked picture on the wall. So, let's see if I can remember how I did it. It's not that difficult, Tammy. Anyway, the semester is starting. I'm, I will be in my classroom in 12 hours time, bestowing a lot of wisdom to my students, you know, syllabus day. Okay, then you take this and you stretch it. The idea is it's not going to really stick to itself unless you stretch it, then it's going to stick to itself. And I'm thinking, whew, I hope that works. <laughs> but 
It works. <laughs> so now you have, now this is kind of lopsided, right? Like that. Now you have a hook and you can, like I said, you can move it back and forth if you want to. And you can even turn it around if it's too lopsided for you. You know, you can turn it so it's the most comfortable for you. So I guess you want me to see, you want to see me French knit with it. Okay, let's see. I have good lighting, so I think I can, oh yeah, I'm going to flip it around here. I'll see. I think this hook wants to be, it wants a cushion. <laughs> Let me get that out of the way. So I usually, what I do is best for me is to keep the, both the finished product, the ball here in the bag, and then the cotton thread ball in the bag. And it's easier for me. Okay, let's see. I know Renee's watching, I'm sure of it. Pull that down. Hey, that feels very good. It's not too, uh, it's not too soft of a cushion. I do that too. And bring it around. My next hack is to get a little cushion for my finger on the other side, the one that's holding the string. <laughs> Is it is that too much? I can get uh, the silicone finger finger gloves that I have for when I'm working with the hot glue gun. Hey, where are those? I think they're in my drawer. Answering my own question. So it works. Isn't that awesome? So let me put that back in. And now I have. 2.0 is pretty good. It is kind of <laughs> bugging me that it's so lopsided. So let's try this one anyway. All right, and what am I using? Okay, let me use. I use the one Renee gave me because I know I can remove it. And the thing about removing it is it's not going to leave any kind of a sticky substance on the hook. It's just going to, you know, you can remove it. I recommend removing it <laughs> this way at this end where the hook is not. <laughs> so instead of there where you could get it hooked. Another thing was if I take it out... Will I be able to get it back in there? That's all it is. It's like a little, I don't know what it looks like. What does it look like to you? Oh. It was a little pop, so I went through more of the foam wedge. But hey, if I can do that, can I do this then? to kind of even it out. Yes, I can. And I did pull a little bit of the foam wedge out, but it's still going to work and it's still going to stay together. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's still a little lopsided. <laughs> Fine. Okay. So, once again, try and find the center and just give it a little twist back and forth. You can turn it if you want to, like that. It really doesn't matter where you, you could set it up here and do the wrapping with the self-using tape. I'm going to use the other self-using tape that I, that I bought this summer, 
I bought it from Amazon. So, the other roll, like I said, the other roll that I bought. Okay, so I'm going to do... I'm going to wrap this without, like, folding this up first. So I'm going to fold it as I wrap it. That would probably be the toughest part here is to... Wrap it. That's the toughest part, is to make sure that you get a nice, that you pull on this, because that's what makes it sticky, or not, it's not really sticky, but that's what sticks it to itself. It's weird, it's like, uh, to me it reminds me a lot of plumber's tape. Plumber's tape, uh, I have plumber's tape, it's white, and it's, you put it around a thread, like a pipe thread, and you wrap it very tightly, and then it, it seals to itself, and then you put the other pipe on, you screw that on, and it, uh, it's supposed to prevent leaks. So self-using tape is, uh, it works the same way. This one is a little bit thicker than plumber's tape. Do I have plumber's tape? Where's my plumber? It's probably in my toolbox. <laughs> I'm not going to go get it. Okay, this is a little off too, but I'm not really worried about that. This actually looks pretty good. Is this one off too? A little bit. So um, this one works. will work just as well. Ta-da! How long have I been talking? 19 minutes! All right. <clears throat> oh, wait. <laughs> It must be Monday. Must be Monday because I'm shaking my phone to randomize when I have to have this open. This app has to be open. This is the Decide Now app. And I think I paid the money to turn all the ads on it. I cannot remember how much it is, but it is in the, in the app store. I'm not sure if there's um, an Android version, but it's called Decide Now. And you can fill it with whatever you want. So I use it to help me think of what kind of day I'm suggesting that you have. <laughs> because, you know, a lot of people say, have a crafty day, have a craftastic day, have a great day, have a happy day. But I can't, I always, uh, I'm dumbfounded when I, when, when I want to sign off. And I'm like, oh, what kind of day should I tell you to have? Oh, uh, <laughs> this is to eliminate the us. Okay, so while this is spinning, please comment, like, share, and subscribe to Tammy Nam and the Crafty Cat Lady. Have a unique day.